getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. Ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. I'm doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. What shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods. Me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. So, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name's Mac, or Chalk Joystick. It's nice getting out of the house. So, we're with Jack. Like uh, we're gonna head mom. down to I Strawberry. Gotta go and pick up like some mail. What happened the other night? Um, so John's getting a bit restless, I think. He's not all for the honest living. All he's ever known is the uh, shooting and killing, really. But he's trying. So what we'll do is we'll head to Strawberry, and when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. So welcome back. So Jack's been driving the wagon. Um, I think we've taken over now. So we're all coming into Strawberry. And um, we'll go and get the mail. Get out of the way, fella. I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Right, I'll just park up here. Then we're gonna get the mail. Now see, this is why I don't venture too far from the roads. I heard a man just pulled one of his work. Alright, we'll all park right. up. Here we are. <laughs> right in the bloody middle. You alright, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. Yeah, you miserable little bugger. Wait here. I won't be long. Okay. I think we're going to have to, uh um, I might let you drive us home. Have a go at John's beard in a bit. It's getting out of control. All right. All right, okay. Let's collect mail. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Um, uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm... Nope, nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay, John Marston. Oh, dear. Marston. Nope, nothing here for that name either. Try oh, Abigail God, who's Roberts. that guy over there? Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Right, so that here, fella who was lurking in the back, he obviously recognised John Marston's uh, name, which isn't good. Mostly Milton these days. 
It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Yep, thank you very much. Okay. Let's get back. Let's get out of here. I do wonder if we're going to have company okay, soon. Papa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Come on, Jack. Go for it. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. We're going back to Bronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. <laughs> Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? Yeah, let's get hammered. Going back. Okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's still a little strain, the relationship, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, John's giving it a go. It's all a bit new to him, all this fatherhood stuff. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, let's speed up a little bit. All right, speed up. Get away from there. Okay. Hiya. Ah. Right. So yeah, that um, I'm not sure who that fellow was in the post office, but his sort of head came up when he heard the name John Marston. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? Oh no. dear, is that him? No, keep driving. I've got a feeling that was him. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Any more of them? If he's gonna fire, here he comes. So he's following us. All right, we'll speed up a little bit, Let's I think. This up. Let's see uh, what happens. Try and get a bit further away from him. No, he's still there. Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. I wonder if we can go a little bit faster. Just a bit faster now. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. Jack's having an early driving lesson. I think the horse is getting skittish. He'll be all right. This guy's still following. I think we need to sort him out before we get to Progmon Ranch. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Any more? Yeah, something's definitely going on, isn't it? If he's like a bounty okay. hunter or something. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. Oh, well, there is a couple train. of them. When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Oh, it's not looking good. Now. Yeah, it's about three of them, I think. Come on. Quick. Now. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Let's take these buggers out. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Oh dear. No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. Oh well. I think we'll take them out. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Stay on. Um... How did 
gonna miss him. Oh, I'm gonna have fun watching you die. Ah! Alright, return to Jack. It's okay. So okay. that was the guy John Marston killed, Why? and then they had to go on the move it's again. Okay. It's okay. He was trying to rob him. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Right, let's get At least they don't know we're at Proghorn Ranch. Come on. Get up. Right, okay, we'll head back to Proghorn, and when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. Right, so welcome back. So okay, we're just near Proghorn Ranch now. That was an uh, eventful. So John's just been sort of reassuring Jack everything's okay. Uh, but obviously he knows he could have problems here. He doesn't want to bring it back to Proghorn. Not I'll yet anyway. How was the Oh dear. What happened? Yeah. It's I don't we got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! I... It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Oh, dear. It's so hard, isn't it? Because uh, what does he do? Um, his past is coming back to haunt him. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. He's all right, Abe. He's a nice he fella. Was? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. <laughs> right, let's go and get his telegram. But well, who knows, he's here. Thanks, Abe. So I'll have a little jog across the ranch. Let me see what this telegram is. Good night, fella. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here, sign there. Bloody hell, he's a scary looking bloke. Thank you. What? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. Oh, wow. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. <laughs> I'll be damned. Awesome. So Sadie's back. Right, we're going to see her because she's not going to be happy about this. She's going to go off her tits. Oh, made up Sadie's back in it. So I wonder if she's got information about uh, Mike or Dutch. So we've got to head up to Valentine's Saloon. But uh, Abigail's not going to be happy. I wonder if he's going to tell her. Abigail! Where the hell's she gone? Oh, this is not looking good. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you, part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Abigail. 
God, she's gone. I mean, a lot of the time, he, there was nothing he could do. So this was his present from her that he picked up from Strawberry. Oh, it's like the ranch um, shirt he wears in Red Dead Redemption. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? <laughs> Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. But I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Right, okay, so we're going to return to work. We'll just check the map, see where we're heading. Right, so we'll go and do that, do a bit of work. Uh, milk the cow again. Uh, oh, God, I've got to clean the stalls. Some more shit shoveling. Right, let's go and do it, get it done. And hopefully we'll be able to go and see Sadie and Valentine. Absolute legend, Sadie Adler. All right, let's have... Let's have a little job. Go over here. Good eye, Moo Cow. Right, let's do this. Right, let's milk Daisy. There we go. Don't pull too hard. Oh, beautiful action. It's got a good head on that milk. He's getting good at the old fencing now. He has been trying to keep his head down. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. trouble just seems to follow him. Mm -hmm. I love this place. I'd bloody live there. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Good piece of shit. Look at that, good as new. What the hell, a few months later? <sighs> That's her fool. Hey. You know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? Well, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Right, okay, so we'll go to see Mr. Geddes. Uh, he's an all right fella. I'm going to have a chat to him. I wonder if he's going to see if he can sort of help him out getting beaches. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to have a little shave. Uh, bring John's beard under control. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... It's a nice house. My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. 
Real issues. Do hmm? you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil <laughs> and forget all about family. Yeah, he's tried that. I'm just joking, son. I oh, know, he just wasn't on sure the ship, was he? deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Beauty. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Wow, is the old stuff coming out? Oh, yeah. Wow. He's back. Awesome. So this is how we know him from Red Dead Redemption. This is awesome. Right, okay. So where are we headed? We'll just check the map, see where we're going. So we've got uh, Ansel Atherton, so that's where we can go alone in Blackwater, and we've got the fabulous Sadie Adler back up at Valentine. So I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there for this episode. John Marston's got his um his old gear on. It's famous gear from Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I think we'll also go and get a shave so it looks a bit more decent when he's shooting people. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there for this episode. Thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, that'd be an absolute rip snorter. But until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.